Alright, here it is, finished product. I got the uh, grooves cut in there, just used a hacksaw while I was at home for that. Didn't feel like waiting until Monday. But um, the clamping pressure is much better now. I still don't like that I have to use an Allen wrench and a uh, wrench or uh, whatever else I'm feeling like using on there. But uh, I guess it makes it a lot simpler for machining. And this is more of a test piece just to see if the concept works, which it does. Um, there's no movement whatsoever now that that's tightened down and clamped on there. Once you press it, once you press it down, it's already pretty snug, and then with that clamp on there, there's absolutely no movement. So that's pretty good. Um, somebody mentioned that I should have machined a groove for an O-ring, and yeah, that probably would have been a little bit better just smoothness but actually it does mate up the face of the barrel mates up with that and then there's also a ring inside that uh, mates up with the taper of the barrel being that it is step drilled it's not uh, it's not drilled on a taper which would have been even better but um, yeah as it stands right now it's fully functional I'm gonna go ahead and take it off and be right back to show you it when it's not on the gun. All right. All right, here we are separate from the gun. As you can see that groove does go all the way through on both sides and that helps with the clamping force a whole lot more. Um, you've got those two big flaps now that clamp down around the barrel. And as you can see inside, that little step there is what I was talking about earlier. That's where it jumps from uh, 6 to 580 and that's also where it seals around the barrel as well as the crown up front not exactly the crown but the, uh, the front of the barrel that's a 30 caliber hole and this will be on a 22 for its use so no problems there but overall it's a finished piece works very well for what I needed and it was a cool concept that I got to uh, take it all the way from design to actually making the thing. So, thanks for watching the uh, 22 tapered barrel adapter. Maybe you can make one yourself if you've got access to the tools and things. That's the main problem for me. But yeah, thanks for watching.